All right. More goat man. Why? Because every single video that I upload that isn't goat man always gets at least one comment asking for more goat man. So, I will make another goat man video. There is no introduction though. This is your punishment for demanding goat man. <laughs> Hey, hey gamers, welcome back to Kenchi. If you're wondering why I have Goatman randomly running all the way down here in my base, that's because everyone in my squad is slowly starving to death still. I have way too many farms for people to be starving, but they all still are anyways. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to steal some rocks. I actually, probably a little, a little less just so he's not fucking... Yeah, that should be good. How... Lightweight, yeah, it's, that should be fine. Anyways, I'm gonna go and sell all the. We gotta sell these rocks to make money, basically. <laughs> Why? Because I'm bad at actually thinking things through. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna get everyone to not starve, and I'm gonna do something fun instead of just sitting here suffering. Alright, I got some foods, got some raw foods, and I got bandages. Hopefully, this will be enough. I, I really do hope, because I'm really tired of feeding these people. Whenever they get start starving. It, it's honestly like been like the most annoying part of this series, is the food. And that's why I've imported my game to a world with far less starvation, because uh, sustenance magically, uh, you know, affects people less. Or like, there's more sustenance in food. I don't know how, but congratulations, that's the reality of this place. Alright. So, you might be asking yourself, why am I about to leave my base with all of my goats and this random dumb person? Well, that's because we're about to go goat raiding. What do I mean by that? We're going to attack people uh, with goats. <laughs> this is a great idea, guys. I, I, I swear, you can trust me. Anyway, so, something I'm going to do is I'm going to set the two people I brought to passive. They're not going to stay passive, uh, because this game is, like... The coding in this game is pretty dumb, so I, I really don't think they're going to stay passive for long. However, uh, this gives me a false sense of hope that, you know, they won't randomly get up and start attacking people. And they'll actually, you know, heal the goats whenever they go down. Uh, our numbers in goats, you know, not that many goats, obviously. We're going to be working on it. We got to increase the numbers some. But, uh, should probably take people so we can pick up goats if we ever get into a fight with them. But, you know, that's too much work. That's too much work. We're gonna, we're, we're just gonna go and beat up some people we don't like. I think that's a great idea. I think that's how you have fun in this game. Anyway, so I believe in the Skim Sands. Yeah, there's, or, well, in the Spine Canyon, there's those losers down there. Uh, the Sand Ninjas. Now, I'm not sure how strong they are. I don't think they could be that strong, though. Also, that's just a row of goats. If I was a millionaire in this game, I would have a row of more goats, but, you know. Fucking money. Th goats are so fucking expensive, it really doesn't make sense. Anyways, this is not free X speed. Jesus Christ. Alright, you know what? Here, here's the test run. Here, here's our little test run right here, right here. Look at all these guys. Look at all them. And look at the goats coming in. Alright? Alright. Now. Actually, hold on. Are they not hostile? These guys haven't been hostile? What? Are you, are you serious? Oh, no. Okay. I was about to say, like, these guys have to be hostile. But yeah, so. Attack all. And we're gonna tell these two to not attack. I wanna see how well just the goats are at beating the shit out of people. This is beautiful. The dog's already down, boys. Keep in mind, this group is like strong uh, bandits. <sighs> they just fucking annihilated them. Look at that. Jeez. Holy crap. I do not want to be on the receiving end of that ever. Yeah, like, Jesus Christ, they didn't stand a chance. I'm now worried for the people we have to go up against. This game, just like the concept alone is funny. Like someone was like, oh, do do a crab army. 
uh, see, see how well that goes, and it's like, yeah, but, like, giant crabs, like, you expect those things to be able to beat someone up in a fight. You really don't expect goats to beat the living shit out of raiders, you know? It's way more funny that way. I'm gonna fucking take over an entire fucking nation with goats. God, that's gonna be autistic. <laughs> alright, alright, so... Something that I've noticed when playing this game, and I don't know if it's, like, physically intentional or not, or if just, like, the game engine is a little messed up, but, um, there's this little funny, uh, little problem with the game where there'll be, like, a large group of skimmers, right? But they'll be under the ground. I think that they're supposed to actually be underground and they jump out and attack you, right? Well, the problem is, is that on uh, not even terrain and or, like, not sand so like more dirt and rocks you literally see nothing and then they just spawn in on you and you're sitting there like are these guys real are they not also i have no hope that we're gonna fucking win the i said we have i don't have hope and then i saw that <laughs> you no know, i think like i think these bugs gotta fucking run <laughs> Ah, uh, that'll never get boring. Just seeing them get fucking punted. Look at that. Oh, fucking hell. Fucking mauled. Jeez, that wasn't even close. Anyways, we're gonna steal some of this for food. And money. We're gonna make a pit stop. But yeah, of course, fucking some goats went down. Can you, like, go, man, can you, like, medic other people? Yeah. Medic up, you know, the goats. God, imagine being a skimmer, and just the last thing you see is a bunch of goats beat the living shit out of you. The squad prepares for another battle. Alright gamers, after a journey and a half, I've made it over to their hideout, and fucking, yeah. It shouldn't, really shouldn't have taken as long as it did, but you know, it did anyway, so not really much you can do about it that now, but uh, there's a literal 0% chance of KOing this person. That one person out there is their literal leader, and okay, I think they just sent them in. The only person left is someone with an absolute 0% chance of being able to do crap. That person's also 0. Okay. That one's 21%. That's very low. Did not stop me, though. From instantly knocking... How'd you get up if you were knocked down? Come on. Okay. Now, we do the funny and... We run over here, uh, run some of the goats back with them, right, and then attack all, and then 1x speed. Here. The sand ninjas are now hostile. You know, a faction that attacks you on sight is now hostile against your faction. Okay, goats, you really don't need to run in. Yeah, so, you know, I don't know how this fight would have gone, or, well, I, I wasn't sure what, what I was expecting with this fight, but, uh, oh wow, most of my goats are actually down. I think it's all because, no, this is just a normal sand ninja, and where's, like, their god person? I mean, like, don't get me wrong, they deal some damage, however, we're also beating the shit out of all of them. Okay, a lot of people are now running out after Goatman. Not good. Not good. Stole someone's crossbow. Oh, that's not good at all. You're using a shit sword. That's why. Go beat them up with an actual blade. Okay, go mug that person. Okay, this person really is bad at being... Like, not being double teamed. 
Okay, that person's probably like their leader. Yeah, who like we originally like pretty much one-shotted and Hello. They don't they're not hostile, which is sad. Because this leaves us time to do this. Okay, you know, all of a sudden they're doing, like, sweeping attacks, and I think that's going to be our downfall right here. So goats don't excel in group combat, I take it. Yeah, group combat is bad. Which means, basically, attack. Alright, and then run. Run back. Run with all of them, too. And... Okay, Goatman. Like, you guys are mostly supposed to just be healing, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. Taken down. Pick them up. Oh, and this person's got like a 4k bounty on them. Okay, well that's their lead. <laughs> Alright, so that's something to learn. That uh, we need to learn. Goats don't do well in group combat. Against like sweeping strikes. They're good at like fighting like one-on-one -on -one opponents basically. Or maybe it's just like the combination of katanas and fucking that shit really just leaves a lot more to be desired. Okay, come on, go. You gotta get up, because... Yeah, like, literally none of your vitals are down. Okay, everyone's up. Everyone's up. Great. Now we're off to go and sell the person. Bro, look at all these goats over here for a trader. I just got a lot of money um, for, you know, beating up those guys and throwing them in prison. So, can... Oh god, I did not mean for that guy to do that. Alright, whatever. Hey. Have anything to trade? Just goats. Exactly what I'm in the market for. Okay. I mean, let's try to grab cheaper goats. Don't really want to spend more than 10k on a goat. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, and go. Yes. Look at that. More friggin' goats. Squad. Move them into the goat squad. Alright, our forces are growing. <laughs> Look at all these fucking goats. Good. Good. Yeah, not all of them are adults, though. Teens are pretty close to adults. They're not gonna start dealing insane damage until they're elders, though. I think it's semi-worth keeping that in mind. But yeah, fucking army of goats. Now let's just get back to base. Alright, look at all these stupid cannibals. Look at them, they honestly think they're gonna get anywhere near my base. I put out- put up the goat legion next to them. Bring a look at all these dudes swarming. Yeah, you guys aren't gonna do crap. Yeah, bash on the gate, see what it does for you. <laughs> oh yeah, now those are some numbers. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, yeah. I mean, I honestly... It's like, I wonder what could have been expected. Is there just like one little... It's just hitting the wall for nothing. Oh, that dude's way over there. Yeah, probably shouldn't have messed with us. It's still worth beating the shit out of him. Okay, yeah, I'll turn around. And get mauled. Here comes all my guys. Yeah, you didn't even stand a chance, buddy. I, I really don't know what you were expecting. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is what we should do to all the cannibals that keep attacking us. Just burn them all. You know, I'm really starting to hope that this will help, uh, encourage cannibals to 
not attack, because they'll just learn that. It's really not worth doing that. If you're wondering why I'm all the way out in the Sten Desert slash Border Zone, it's because I'm looking for a blueprint to make my own uh, helmets. Because if I can make helmets and mass produce them, I can equip my entire squad with, well, the proper uniform uh, of the GOAT faction. <laughs> they all need to wear GOAT headdresses, and I don't think the process actually involves killing a GOAT, so you know, that's good. Is this ruined? Not ruined? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Alright, you better. You better. Yo, it's right here, gamers. I got the headdress, and that's really the main thing I... Yeah, whatever. It's really the main thing I came here for. Now to run all the way back to my base, which, you know, if I need to point out, kind of up there, and I'm all the way down here, so... Alright, guys. So, I've been hard at work, right? And uh, we got we got Goatman here, right? So this is the new building I built. Take a wild guess what it is. That's right, gamers. We built a church for the goats. We're gonna worship goats. Have I made a dumb enough idea yet? Like, look at this, like... Oh, by the way, I did not tell a single person to sit in here. They all chose to go to goat church. Will you step up and go to goat church? Uh, let's get some goats in here. You know, it's not goat church without the goats, you know? Why did I build this? Why am I? Why was I allowed to build this? Look at this. We got the goats. And we got the people ready to listen to the goat sermon. They're all sitting there patiently, too. Oh, yeah, also, we're researching to make leather armor. Oh. Is this all? Is that all you're bringing? You guys get beat up or something? That's, uh, that's not good. Also, just, like, we have way too many goats. We've also been burning a lot of bodies. This was actually to get, like, a source of leather, actually. We're not just burning corpses to burn them. You know, human leather that make goat headdresses, that makes sense, right? I, I, I think that makes sense. But, uh, anyways, on the greatest note of all time, the goat church note i think we should end off the video here so yeah just to let it be known i created a religion in kenshi out of boredom <laughs> this is like the dumbest i just feel like i need to emphasize this is probably the dumbest thing i've ever done in kenshi by like a long shot